Yeah, and uh, got, you had a question. All this music, or most of it, has been played by great pianists on the piano. Yeah, yeah. What, do you have any sense of what's gained and what's lost when it's played on the Yeah, piano? I mean, sure, I have a, a lot of opinions about that. Yeah, what's gained and what's lost. I mean, of course, it's much louder on the big piano, right? Yeah, it's like, it, I don't know. It, uh, I, I also, it's more homogenized. You know, the modern piano is just a very homogenous instrument. One of the charms of the harpsichord is that the high notes and the low notes sound very different from each other. So you can hear all those voices in the fugues. Um, so there's a lot of dia stratification and dialogue, even though I don't have dynamics really, other than coupled or uncoupled, right? The, the voices are very distinct. So, so, you know, in, that, in the Bach fugue, it, that's the alto, here comes the soprano. I mean, you know, she's, the, the soprano takes that subject in and goes to the stars with it, you know? And so, so you, and then when the bass comes in, it sounds like a man, uh, right? It really is male. So those those qualities on the piano are are have been are very watered down. They're there, you know, and, and some people would argue your psychology provides it and all that. But I think the harpsichord actually makes it more palpable. So I think that's important. I also think it, because you get the pitch so quickly here, like that, you can play very rapidly and you really do register the pitch. I mean, yeah, it's it, it, you know, it's just it's a much quicker game, right? Um, and this music is quite mercurial. I mean, it really operates in thousands of a second, which I don't think the modern piano is really set up. It's not at its best, you know? I mean, it, it does other things great, but so, so that, and you know, this instrument, this is the harpsichord at the end of its lifetime. It's in the, in the early 18th century, uh, by the, uh, 20 years after this is done, the, it, the market is really starting to shift. The piano is, the early piano is coming in with hammers that you can place louder and softer, uh, but you lose that incredible, that celestial quality, those spiritual issues that are here, those go take a back seat, you know? And, but music changes too, and, and chicken and egg, no one knows, you know, I mean, but what Bach is talking about and what, what Beethoven are talking about are quite different things. So, you know, so I, I can't answer, but I hope that's a beginning, yes, yeah.